This is Carol from Coso. Nice to see you again. Uh, I already saw I already saw a lot of the dentists already uh, saw our webinar. Coso today is Coso uh, forty five global uh, global webinar. Uh, Coso every week continue do the webinar. So. Today we we are uh, invite Dr. Mandai from India to talk about the irrigation machine. First, I want to introduce how to get our certificate because a lot of the dentists want to get uh, our certificate. And second, I want to introduce this webinar is from India professional Dr. Mandai, and this irrigation machine is. Uh, study and uh, and uh, uh, and R and D such as the like the I and D is by Dr. Mandai. So Dr. Mandai is very professional for this machine, and today he will introduce how to use it and why it's very important during you doing the uh, endo treatment during prepare the root canal. Okay, now first I want to introduce how to get the certificate. Here, the first step, you need to follow our page and like as your page. The second step, you need to leave your comment on question below the live video. About end of the video, we will show the phone link trick on the comment and below the live video. Please open the link and fill the form and apply the certificate. About three steps all done in five days, you will receive the PDF form certificate in your email. And this certificate also has the signature by Dr. Mandal. Uh, please note that this form application cannot only can fill by one time and available for only five hours after the lecture. So five hour later, the application form channel will be closed. After that time, we will not accept any application form. Please fill on this form as soon as possible after the lecture. The second, the form cannot be modified, so please be sure your information you left are correct. Here is our certificate sample. You can see the speaker professional also have the signature also have our CEO signature and COSO step. Okay, this is today our uh, certificate. And today our, our gift, we will provide two lucky person to get the gift. Today the gift is the dental root canal instrument. COSO dental root canal is very stronger and we get a lot of the good feedback from the dentist. Two lucky person, the first lucky person is who leave the comment, who leave the question on the comment, and it will pick up by the system. And the system will pick up the one lucky person and get three pieces. Please remember, <laughs> is three pieces, not one pieces. You will get three pieces of this endo file. And the, the another lucky person will be picked up by Dr. Manda, who leave the best question on the common. We, Dr. Manda will pick up the uh, doctor, the dentist fan, who leave the best question on the common. So they, they, it also can get three pieces of, of this uh, root canal instrument, the root canal dental file. So also get three pieces. This is our uh, nickel file. This nickel file also is very stronger. When it's bent, you can use 
16 degree temperature to reflect it. Okay, uh, today Dr. Mandai will be introduced about uh, the irrigation and the topic is a paradigm shift in uh, at the Dante irrigation. And the next time, the next week, we have another uh, webinar is from, let me see, is from, uh, is, is the hand and root canal file for safe in biology prepared part one is the Arabic language. So please continue focus on Coastal Facebook page and win our gift. And also please leave uh, every dentist, please leave your comment in our Facebook to, uh, to, to win the lucky person to get the gift. You can say hello for us and where are you from? We will, we will show your comment. Okay, now I also will uh, invite our dealer in Indian Saramango to introduce their company. Coso and Saramango is very close to partner and Saramango is our exclusive agent, some of the product exclusive agent in India. Now I will invite uh, Mr. Andy. Hello, Andy. Hello, Carol. Hello. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, now is your time. You need to uh, introduce Saramango in India, our partnership. Okay, yeah. show me your PowerPoint. I will show on the screen. It's your turn. Can you see now? Mm, yes, I can see now. Okay. So, hello everybody. Sarvamangal and Coxo team welcomes you all. Just briefing about Sarvamangal. Sarvamangal is basically Sarvamangal is itself is a vision. Sarvamangal means good to all and always. We are proactive, innovative, entrepreneurial and with integrity and dignity. Sarvamangal group consists of Sarvamangal Healthcare Private Limited, Sarvamangal Enterprises, Acumen Services, Sarvamangal Healthcare Innovation Center, SHI, and Dr. B. N. Kulkani Charitable Trust, where we do some social services also. Uh, we, we have a defined organizational structure, group board of directors, which, uh, managing director is reporting to them, and we have finance, uh, marketing, dental consumables, equipment, and research and development departments. So, we are having the vision to build a stronger dental community prepared to for all future challenges to provide dental practitioners with equipment that keeps them ahead optimizing treatment workflow creating a platform for modern techniques and patient communication and so mangal will constantly work to meet and exceed expectations of our customers so mangal means effective solutions for dental practices and clinics. Our goal is to find new ways of offering something better than the best and providing customers with ultimate smile that lasts longer. So Saramangal and Coxo is a team, as Carol said. Uh, Coxo is available in 158 plus countries and Saramangal is exclusive for India. We have been uh, there from 2000 in the market. Coxo is from 2003 and our association is growing very strong from 2007. Saramangal provides for sales of Coxo world-class equipment with backup with the best service, ensuring the dentist to have peace of mind in usage of Coxo equipment. We have many products. Uh, some of them I'll explain you here. We have uh, SC Pro files. These are NITI control memory NITI files and uh, very effective. Very, there are so many people are already using, and we have buy four, get one free offer currently running on. We have endomotors. Coxo is one of the largest uh, range of endomotors, and uh, there are 14 altogether. And 
many of them c smart pro i pro is a corded version c smart mini ap is a version which is for uh, cordless and uh, c smart pilot which is the latest one which is combination of both it uh, works on bluetooth these both are in the motors with apex locator inbuilt very effectively priced and very uh, nice in the motors then we have ultra smart coxo ultra smart is a ultrasonic activator endo activator 38000 hertz is the frequency and it comes with uh, three titanium tips and it's a optic one we have curing light with Keris detector, which is DB686 Nano. It's a steel light which comes with two batteries and very effective in your curing cycles. Cures eight millimeter block at a time. We have C Apex locator C root I, which is again a very good product from Coxo. Then we have C fill, one of the pioneers in obturation system, hot gut aperture obturation system. We have C fill and C fill mini. C fill down pack and back fill anybody can buy only that also. We have C Puma in C Puma we have C Puma and C Puma Master. C Puma comes with it's only electric motor which comes with one is to five two hand pieces or C Puma Master which is a combination of electric motor and endo motor. One uh, it will have one one is to five hand piece and one six is to one endo hand piece. Also we have Keris detector C uh, C Hunter and the Alginate mixer from Coxo. We have one of the largest selling in Asia, this physio dispensers, C Seller Pro and C Seller Plus. One is an optic one and another is non-optic one. A very economical but sturdy physio dispensers. You can just give us a call. That's all. What Saromangal Healthcare Private Limited is a company which is based at Sangli Maharashtra. We are Saro, we are you can attach us with Saromangal at hotmail.com, Saromangal sales at gmail.com. You can follow our Facebook page, the Facebook of like SHPL India. You can email WhatsApp or mobile phone is always online. We uh, try to reply to all queries within 12 hours and we suggest the permanent solution within 24 hours. We have company trained engineers with us. So all services are done from our full pledged workshop. Thank you. Over to you, Carol. Thank you so Over much. You, Hello, you. Andy. Thank you so much for your explanation of our Curso product. Sir Mango is Corso exclusive agent in India. If any dentist friend want to buy Corso product, please connect with them. And you can see on this uh, screen, they have the connect phone. Okay, thanks for your, Andy, Thank thanks you, for Carol. your time. See you next time. Yes, see you next time. Okay, I remove you now. Uh, today is our 48 times the Global Fee Public uh, Webinar, and today is Dr. Manda from India. Today, his topic is a uh, paradigm shift in endodontic irrigation, and this irrigation is invention by Dr. Manda. So he he are uh, very professional in this machine, and he also have a lot of experience uh, doing his work. Okay, now let's welcome to Dr. Mandar to join our webinar. Hello, Dr. Mandar. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Dr. Mandar. Many thanks for many thanks for your join this webinar. And I'm yes. very great to see you again. And today this machine and the and the topic is very interesting. Okay, yes. now I will give you your time. Okay, so shall I start sharing the screen? Yes, you need to share your okay. screen. Any dentist can leave their a question on their comment and Dr. Mandai will answer you the question when we finish this course. 
And Dr. Mandel will pick up the lucky person who leave the best question during the coast. Okay, now give your time now, Dr. Mandel. Okay, so I hope uh, everybody can hear me and a very warm welcome to this uh, 48th uh, public free webinars by COXO. I must congratulate them for uh, doing this wonderful job. Uh, thank you, Carol, for welcoming me again, second time in this uh, webinar series. And thank you, uh, Aniruddh Kulkarni, the trusted name in India as Sarvamangal Healthcare. So today, uh, I have be, uh, we are going to talk about uh, a paradigm shift in endodontic irrigation. Now, I have been working uh, on this aspect of endodontics for about 12 years. And uh, I have uh, invented a few things, designed a few things, formulated some irrigation solutions. But uh, the CRCC or continuous warm activated irrigation and evacuation is my first baby. And uh, I am thankful to COXO and uh, it's an engineer, bioengineering marvel what they have created uh, with an automated irrigation system. So today we are not only going to look at the machine or a device, we are going to understand the concept behind it, why there will be a paradigm shift in endodontic irrigation. So dividing this presentation into three different parts is redefining the aims, understanding the concept behind it, and implementing the concept. So when we do endodontic irrigation, there are few challenges we have to overcome, or rather we face and then we have to overcome, is that uninstrumented parts of the root canal system as we all know, we are dealing with complex anatomy. Dentinal tubules, each dentinal tubule act as a canal. And we have to keep them devoid of the smear layer that is accumulated heart tissue debris. Isthmus shaping and cleaning is a, a critical step towards fundamental long-term success. And we have to dissolve the organic matter from within the main body of the canal and the lateral canals. And we have to get rid of the mono and multi-species biofilm. So these are uh, some of the challenges. And uh, as you can see in these uh, pictures, which are uh, clear teeth and displaying a wide variety of different anatomical variations and complexities we face during endodontic irrigation. So coming to the first part that is redefining the aims. Now, when we use uh, any chemical agent, we have to see that it causes a chemical disruption of biofilms. It dissolves the pulp tissue and the remnants, and it also should remove the smear layer. So we have a variety of irrigating solutions which we use primarily being sodium hypochlorite, uh, the chlorhexidine as an antibacterial solution, twinklin as a continuous chelation, a liquid EDTA to remove the smear layer. So we use a set of uh, chemical agents to have this chemical effect. But side by side, we also need a mechanical effect, wherein we need this solution to reach to up to a point where we can mechanically dis disrupt the biofilms, detach the dentinal debris and biofilms by creating some amount of force or shear stress, which could be exerted on the canal walls. And we also need to understand, because we're dealing with an open tube and closed tube model as a root canal, uh, we need to understand the fluid dynamics because only a tube model will have this dynamics playing on it. So we should understand the study of fluids, how they move in when they are moved or agitated. And the parameters or factors would be pressure, gravity, and applied forces. So this is what actually we want to do to a root canal, to have a continuous taper and solution freely flowing 
throughout the length of the root canal. Now, when we talk about dynamics, there is something called as apical vapor lock effect, which uh, exists. Then there is a stagnation plane needs to be understood. And then we have to know the depth of irrigation. So primarily, we are now going to use, or rather we are using and we will keep on using uh, sodium hypochlorite as our main antibacterial agent. Because of the simple reason that only 6% hypochlorite was able to completely remove biofilm and prevent its further growth. And that is why sodium hypochlorite is indispensable. But hypochlorite has been active against all microorganisms from a concentration of 0.5 to 6%. So clinically, we only increase the strength or concentration of hypochlorite only to uh, increase the tissue dissolving ability of the sodium hypochlorite. Now, if you go back to the uh, Schilder's five mechanical objectives, because unless we understand this, we will not be able to understand the fluid dynamics. We will not be able to understand how the activation and how the irrigating solution moves in the root canal. First is the root canal preparation should develop a continuously tapering cone. Then it should be decreasing cross-sectional diameters at every point when it moves apically and increasing at each point as the access cavity is approached. Because taper decides the volume of irrigation. It's not the apical diameter. And that is why uh, Herbert Childer and also I am of the same school of thought that keep the apical foramen as small as practical and increase or decrease taper depending on width of the root. So we also need to understand the multiple planes which introduces the concept of flow and never ever transport the foramen. So if you remember these five mechanical objectives, it will be easier for us to understand the irrigation or shift in irrigation. Now, in 1974, uh, Schilder advocated an average use of 39 ml of sodium hypochlorite per visit to clean the root canal space. Schilder irrigation protocol then became the benchmark of excellent clinical treatment. But again in 1983, Chow put forth an infallible paradigm for endodontic irrigation. And what is that? Is that first solution to be mechanically effective should reach the apex and this is where we struggle with our positive pressure irrigation while using syringe and needle it should create a current of course nowadays we have a lot of activating and agitating devices where you can uh, actually create a current into a, the, the root canal system filled with irrigant and it should carry the particles away so we should remember these three things that first, whether you are in position to make that solution available in apical critical one third zone, which is most infective zone. So when we are using sodium hypochlorite, there are some factors which will govern the irrigation and disinfection. First is volume, then is the concentration, then is the refreshment, then is the activation, and then last factor is temperature. Now, few points to remember here. No irrigant provides 100% elimination of bacteria. So you cannot make any space completely sterile. But by using antibacterial solutions, we can actually bring down the bacterial load to such an extent that the body's immunity will take over. And that is how we control the uh, infective or disease process. So the antimicrobial effectiveness of hypochlorite is based on its pH. Now, I don't know how many clinicians check the pH of hypochlorite they receive. If they are not, they should be doing it with a litmus test. Decreasing the concentration of hypochlorite solution reduces its toxicity and also antibacterial effect and ability to dissolve tissues. So if you decrease the concentration, uh, it will affect into so many things. But increasing the temperature of less concentrated solution helps in improving its effectiveness. Why I'm reading this? I know this is too much of text, but 
uh, here is the crux of what the device is going to uh, give us an advantage over the uh, regular or conventional irrigation. The hypochlorite, when it is warmed, it dissolves organic tissue better and exhibits greater antimicrobial efficacy compared to non-heated solutions. So these are some of the points which you can actually go through and uh, it will be more clear when we move ahead in the presentation. So talking about volume, as I earlier uh, narrated that 39 ml of hypochlorite per visit, but maybe during that time there was, uh, the study was not done about the reduction in the mic micro hardness of the dentine. So this was one of the study which says that maximum reduction was 25 ml when the root canal dentin micro hardness has been affected. So as a clinician, you and me, or whoever is uh, working on patients, they need a guideline. They need a figure that what should be the maximum permissible limit of using sodium hypochlorite. And that is 15 ml of hypochlorite per visit, uh, which will not affect the uh, micro hardness of the dentin. Now, refreshment. Now, whenever we do uh, irrigation, uh, normally we resort to using uh, syringe and needle. So refreshment, uh, if you do not refresh hypochlorite, once hypochlorite comes in contact with organic tissue, it degrades very fast. And that is why it has been advised that solution should be frequently refreshed and kept in motion. Remember, kept in motion by agitation or continuous irrigation. Now, this would increase the tissue dissolution speed and also increase agitation and refreshment will help in achieving uh, the antimicrobial effect. Now, every clinician keep on asking me one question that what is the time uh, that hypochlorite should remain in contact of the root, with the root canal system to have completely taken care of the pulp tissue or dentinal debris? The answer is about it is 20 to 40 minutes. So the irrigation starts when you uh, actually start your, uh, finish your access preparation and then the irrigation starts simultaneously with your instrumentation. And it's not only irrigation which is done later uh, after the instrumentation has been done. Now, when we talk about temperature, there has been a lot in literature about increasing the temperature of hypochlorite and there have been more controversies uh, to it also. But uh, the bottom line here is 1% hypochlorite at 45 degrees dissolved pulp tissues as effectively as 5.25 solution at room temperature. So what does it tell us? Uh, and the beauty of CRCC is that it is actually 1% sodium hypochlorite which is advocated to be used with this machine because it uh, heats up the sodium hypochlorite which is at the end point. So there is no temperature loss and uh, it heats up to a 50 degrees Celsius. So by using 1% of sodium hypochlorite, you're reducing the toxicity to the patient and side by side, you're increasing the uh, tissue dissolving ability and antibacterial activity by heating it to 50 degrees Celsius. Now, uh, there have been a controversies on extra canal heating, intra canal heating, and this is what CRCC does. It delivers or pours 50 degrees, continuously 50 degrees heated hypochlorite into the root canal system. Now, matter of fact, when you do an extra canal heating, when you take hypochlorite to the root canal system, by the time it reaches into the root canal, uh, it has reached the body temperature. That, that was an argument or that was the controversy. I agree to it, it reaches body temperature very soon. But there is still a window of one to two minutes, and that is enough for hypochlorite to act. Intracanal heating is, yes, it's another way of act thermal activation to sodium hypochlorite. But then you need to have a down pack pen. You have to have dedicated tip for it. So delivering or pouring 50 degrees heated hypochlorite, uh, you will see in further slides with the research and the studies done on it. Now, another question, a clinician, uh, uh, can come to a clinician's mind is 
that how do you prepare 1% hypochlorite? Now, if you want to make an 100 ml of 1% hypochlorite solution out of 5%, because commercially we either have 5% or 2.5% available. So if you want to make 100 ml of 1% hypochlorite, you have to take 5% of 20 ml, 5% hypochlorite, uh, and mix it with 80 ml of distilled water or normal saline. That makes 100 ml of 1% sodium hypochlorite. So if you are using 2.5% and you want to get 1% of the uh, hypochlorite 100 ml, then 10 ml of 2.5 and mix it with 90 ml of distilled water or normal saline. And this is how you make your own 1% hypochlorite. So the uh, effectiveness of the increasing the temperature is definitely advantageous. And uh, we are lowering down the toxicity to the patient or to the normal tissues. Now coming to the last factor of sodium hypochlorite is uh, activation or agitation. Now, we have uh, so many methods of activation and agitation. First is manual dynamic agitation. Then we have passive ultrasonic irrigation. We have sonic activation. We have air sonics. We have negative pressure irrigation. And we have intracanal heating. All these are activating or agitating devices. Now, why negative pressure is underlined is because none of these uh, methods provide a continuous flow of sodium hypochlorite. So refreshment has to be done manually. You have to evacuate the old uh, sodium hypochlorite, which is uh, there in the canal, and refresh it with the new one. But negative pressure irrigation is the only way where you can have continuous flow of refreshed or fresh sodium hypochlorite, and it treats the whole length of the canal. That is the beauty of negative pressure. Now, let us understand what is negative pressure. Now, um, we know that uh, we knew it exists since a very long time. And there is this apical vapor lock effect because we use hypochlorite and it hydrolyzes the tissue and it forms gases at the apical one, uh, one third and it gets trapped there. So law of physics where there is air, uh, a solution cannot enter unless you break that apical vapor lock. Uh, these are three methods with which you can break this apical vapor lock. Acoustic micro streaming is by using passive ultrasonic irrigation, sonic, air sonics, or apical negative pressure, or placing the irrigation needle uh, extremely close to the full working length. But this can cause uh, a lot of uh, irrigation accidents or mishaps in day-to-day -day practice. Now, what is the clinical significance of this uh, apical vapor lock. Now, if you can see this uh, picture here, which is taken from this book, it's a very interesting book. If you get a chance to read this book, please uh, read through this. There are a lot of uh, updates there. So coming back to the clinical application of this apical vapor lock is practically there is no solution in apical one third. So uh, kind of it is a psychological irrigation and we think that positive pressure irrigation will allow a solution to be in a controlled manner to be entering into the apical one third but, uh, but truly it does not happen so why am i saying that this is a paradigm shift in irrigation is that when you use crcc uh, there is no uh, place for syringe and needle which is typically a positive pressure irrigation. Now, what do I mean by positive pressure irrigation? When you do irrigation with syringe and needle, it is positive pressure. It is called as positive pressure irrigation. You place the uh, needle into the canal, you extrude the solution, and it is evacuated at the chamber level. So by the time the solution goes down, it is evacuated, and the apical vapor lock remains intact. And solution does not enter into the critical apical one-third zone. Now, in order to reach uh, the solution in apical one-third, uh, if you apply pressure, then there is a chance of extrusion of hypochlorite into the periradicular tissues. So the stagnation plane, uh, which uh, a theory which I just uh, showed you in earlier slide, 
says that irrigant is inactive one millimeter ahead of the needle tip. So uh, it cannot eliminate the apical vapor lock. The flow is laminar, it is not turbulent, and there can be increased chances of accidents. And this is again a diagrammatic representation of uh, using side vented needle and the beveled or apically open needles. So if you see solution which comes out of this port, it loses its velocity very soon. So there is no way that you have a control over this to make it available into a pikel one third and break that up paper lock. So negative pressure is uh, the answer to this. And what is negative pressure? It is uh, an effective method to overcome the fluid dynamics challenges inherent in a closed root canal system. So you create a situation in an enclosed volume where it has lower pressure than surroundings and it can have shear stress on the canal walls. That is the prime requirement to disrupt the biofilms. Now, what is negative pressure? It is exactly opposite the positive pressure. The cannula which is attached to a suction is placed to the working length and the solution is deposited in the chamber. Since this is attached to a suction, the solution is first pulled down and then evacuated through this cannula. And that is what is automated or inbuilt in CRCC. So that's uh, the beauty of CRCC that it has apical negative pressure. To understand it uh, in a better way, uh, look at this uh, animation. And uh, this is also available. Uh, on YouTube, you can uh, watch it on YouTube. And this is what the apical vapor lock I was talking about. So it is not possible to get rid of this apical vapor lock with an instrument. So you need something which is either customly fitting or you need to pull the irrigant to the working length. And that is what negative pressure precisely does. So in order to make this solution available in apical one third, and if you are doing syringe and needle irrigation, there is quite a possibility that the solution may get pushed into the apical one third. And this is what uh, we actually don't want yeah, in our day to day practice. So understanding the concept that what is negative pressure in positive pressure, you push the irrigant in negative pressure, you pull the irrigant. And this is precisely we do not want. And this has a quite a chance when you are using syringe and needle irrigation, which is placed close to the working length or very close to the terminus. Because everybody's uh, pressure, uh, uh, applying pressure is different. So there is no standardization. There is no control over the flow. And that is why negative pressure and uh, negative pressure is not new to us. It was already there, but it was a manual system. Now, this uh, CRCC is an automated irrigation and evacuation. So when you use this, you actually don't require any suction. So the suction is inbuilt. And then the solution starts flowing, which is 50 degrees warm. And then it is evacuated. So you break the apical vapor lock make the solution available in this critical one third apical zone. And it's kind of a pressure wash because the solution flows in between the canal wall and the cannula and it creates a shear stress on the canal walls. So this is understanding the concept of continuous warm activated irrigation and evacuation. And that is CRCC by COXO and uh, it has got multiple functions. Now, what is the advantage of negative pressure? The apical negative pressure pulls the irrigant <coughs> to working length, <coughs> removes debris by overcoming the apical vapor lock. It is extremely safe because you are not pushing the irrigant. And if at all you are doing a syringe and needle irrigation, 
remember one thing uh, never lock or bind the needle in the root canal and you should allow a backflow of the irrigant and never lock the needle and you should be moving the needle up and down longitudinally so that you don't uh, actually lock the needle and create a pressure so apical negative pressure uh, there was less post operative pain because there is no extrusion of hypochlorite into the uh, periradicular tissues and it's a very controlled way of doing uh, irrigation and that to treating the whole length of the canal now coming to evidence and research what what evidence do we have there have been a couple of studies uh, now this study says that uh, this was comparison of endo activator passive ultrasonic irrigation manual agitation and the conclusion was continuous irrigation and evacuation with warm hypochlorite and negative pressure had superior cleaning efficacy a least remaining debris followed by endo activator and then pui for the simplest reason the uh, activation devices they activate or agitate stationary fluids but negative pressure with constant supply is a fluidic motion or the uh, fluid is continuously moving this was one of the first studies when the device was uh, in, in in just uh, uh, making or the first thought over it and uh, dr prasanna nilkanthan did the study he compared it uh, with conventional syringe irrigation the manual dynamic agitation and passive ultrasonic irrigation and he wanted to see the uh, efficiency of this concept in cleaning the isthmus and with this concept the uh, as you can see in this uh, section here that the isthmus was cleanest when the continuous uh, irrigation with negative pressure and warm hypochlorite was used so we have a uh, considerable amount of evidence uh, having superiority over passive ultrasonic irrigation manual dynamic agitation and endo activator this was one of the studies done by the post graduates as you can see um sample b here which was uh, passive ultrasonic irrigation and this was continuous warm irrigation where you can see clean dentinal tubules devoid of any smear layer and smear plugs another study which was uh, the device was tested for removal of the smear layer and uh, for i wanted to uh, actually inform everybody here that uh, the device can be used for liquid edta for normal saline for all possible solutions as as and when i come to the explaining the control panel of the crcc i will elaborate further but this study was for smear layer and the comparison was again uh, the ultrasonically activated irrigation and the uh, the endo activator the conclusion was uh, the cwa irrigation and evacuation system was the most effective in reducing the smear layer so we have uh, quite uh, quite a bit of uh, research and evidence on this now i hope uh, we have covered about the irrigating solutions the factors governing it the concept behind why this was made and what is negative pressure and why it is a beneficial with an evidence and research and let's move on to the actual device now that is crcc and uh, everybody must have seen this uh, clipping i'm going to explain that how it works and how it is supposed to be used
so this is a uh, crcc irrigator now let me just go about explaining that why what this device is how it works so you can see a device which has a nice control panel and you have two bottles here there is a handpiece and there are two different set of tips so if you look at the uh, control panel here now this uh, arrow key is where you can actually only irrigate or drop the solution this up arrow key is uh, only for evacuation that is suction and this is multifunction mode if you press this there will be simultaneous irrigation and evacuation happening and this is uh, the heating switch if you are using liquid edta or normal saline there is no need uh, to heat uh, heat up the solution it is only uh, application where you are using sodium hypochlorite there is this set timer window which has an automated set time limits 30 seconds 60 seconds 90 seconds 120 seconds so if you want to uh, do a cycle of 30 seconds irrigation and evacuation you just press 30 seconds and you press the switch on the handpiece the device will irrigate and evacuate for 30 seconds and auto stop for some reason if you want to stop in between you can just press the switch and the device will stop now these are few indicators here which is a waste indicator and the irrigation bottle so they have a weight sensor so as the solution levels uh, drops or it is uh, about to get over it will give you a beep and this is a self cleaning mode uh, because we are using sodium hypochlorite it is extremely important to maintain this device because there can be salt formations so this is the control panel of the uh, crcc now while using this the uh, before you start using this device uh, you have to uh, flush the fluid there is a key on the keypad where you can have an accelerated mode now how do you actually clinically use this let's look into the steps and then look at the video that how it is used after each root canal or file or instrument use irrigation tip a now tip a is meant for macro debris evacuation i will come to that when i show you the tip the tip has to be placed in the canal and you should be start starting to use this after your coronal flare so that <coughs> the tip is inserted into the canal the wide bore needle which is a part of the tip should be placed in the access cavity so that there is no spillage of sodium hypochlorite because it is going to suck the macro debris this is to prevent the clogging of negative pressure cannula so first you evacuate the macro debris and then you use a negative pressure that is tip b in the end to have enhanced disinfection now you have to continue using tip a for 30 seconds in multifunction mode what do i mean by multifunction mode irrigation and evacuation simultaneous continue to do this till master apical file preparation is done so 30 seconds cycle in between two rotary files till the time you reach your master apical file once that is done then the preparation is over then mount the irrigation tip b that is negative pressure irrigation tip and place it in the canal to the close to the working length and activate the cycles 60 seconds 90 seconds or 120 seconds now if you if we go back we saw that 15 ml of solution is what is required per tooth per visit so uh, i will come to the flow rate also so a cycle of uh, say about uh, 60 seconds will allow you to irrigate for about 5 to 6 ml the flow rate is 5 ml per minute now there could be questions in clinicians mind that what should be the apical preparation size to accommodate this negative pressure tip it is recommended that 25 or 30 iso combined with a taper of 6% or if you are uh, if a clinician wishes to settle down for a four taper then the apical diameter should at least be 30 to 35 to have the uh, apical negative pressure acting effectively 
So these are the uh, some of the recommendations for apical preparation. Now look at this. This is tip A, which has a wide bore, uh, shorter tip, and a narrow, longer tip. Now in this situation, I have just poured my hypochlorite uh, with an irrigation mode, and I let it act. That I call it as passive weight. I let it act on the uh, pulp tissue and now I'm switching to the multifunction mode wherein you can see I've inserted the tip into the canal and there is no spillage of hypochlorite even a drop and you can see bright shiny uh, floor and then you switch to uh, using your rotary or reciprocating instrumentation and every time you put in a file you create a lot of smear layer accumulated hard tissue debris after every file i am going to use 30 seconds again set a cycle of 30 seconds and irrigate evacuate irrigate evacuate so you are constantly flushing and you're not allowing any debris to get packed into the inaccessible areas and warm hypochlorite is going to take care of the dissolving the uh, tissue remnants and you can very well appreciate that being suction <coughs> inbuilt in this, there is no spillage of hypochlorite. So tip A is meant for evacuation of macro debris. So while all the while you are doing instrumentation into the root canal, you're generating a lot of debris. You want to get it out at every file you use. Use tip A for 30 seconds. And then once you have uh, reached your master apical file, then is the tip B. Now this is going to be a, a longer tip wherein uh, both the diameters are same. Now this tip goes into the prepared canal, as you can see. And then the, sol the shorter tip will drop warm hypochlorite and it will be sucked at the apex. And that is precisely the negative pressure. You can see the uh, pulsating movement of the solution. And on top of it, it is 50 degrees warm. So we definitely have an advantage of volume of sodium hypochlorite being used. It is constantly being refreshed. It is constantly causing shear stress on the canal walls. And it is getting sucked at the apex. So whole length of the root canal is being treated uh, chemically and mechanically. If you remember the first slide, redefining the aims, that is to achieve chemical and mechanical effects. Now you can appreciate that how clean the uh, prepared chamber is looking at. And this is how the negative pressure works. Now there can be clinical situations where uh, suddenly the tip gets blocked because they are very fine tips. So simple way is to remove the tip, have, have a blow with your three-way syringe and again start using it if it happens in between. But if you want to have a longer life for these tips, you have to train your assistants to clean the tip after every case so that there are no salt formations because we are using sodium hypochlorite. And these are autoclavable. You can autoclave them. And this is what happens. See, the solution is flowing through the cannula, along the side of the cannula, and getting sucked at the apex. So this is continuous irrigation evacuation with negative pressure using warm sodium hypochlorite. And this is another clinical video. You can see the isthmus getting completely clean. And this is what is uh, important for us because the solution uh, completely flows in the isthmus region and you get a, a cleanest of the isthmus. So th these are some of the advantages. Now, clinically, uh, how is it relevant for me to have this device? Definitely, yes, because it's a single-handed, single-switch operation where you actually do not require any assistance. And it's a set cycle, so it's a dedicated uh, irrigation done. Uh, irrigating with syringe and needle 30 gauge 
uh, that is uh, the diameter, uh, you get kind of exhausted while using 15 to 20 ml. But this is an automated. Now here you can see the negative pressure in action. So there are a couple of more videos also. I'm thankful to Dr. Ashish Karve who has uh, shared uh, this video. Here you can very well appreciate this is positive pressure and this is negative pressure. So the shift in irrigation is you are getting rid of the syringe and needle. Uh, this is everything automated, satisfying all the parameters of the irrigation and disinfection. Now, most important and uh, a very interesting uh, study. Now, this was this is a study done by Stephen Buchanan. You can go on YouTube and watch this, and that is why precisely I have put this link over here. And the study he did was that uh, he wanted to see the efficacy of the sonics, the positive pressure irrigation, and constant apical negative pressure irrigation. So a pulp replica has been used here. And uh, it is soaking with 6% hypochlorite. He tried and compared it with the sonics and the now this is sonic in action and then he realized that uh, only continuous supply of hypochlorite can take care of this amount of pulp replica now if you See this again, positive pressure irrigation. There is hardly a, any action on in the apical one third zone. The files in fact push more debris and meshes the debris into the inaccessible areas. So we need something that will dissolve this pulp tissue. Now you can see AD tip in action here. Although I have also uh, invented pro agitator tip system. So if you compare the uh, sonic AD and the positive pressure irrigation with the negative pressure irrigation, the difference is evident and you will see in, in uh, some time that whole of this pulp tissue gets dissolved with continuous apical negative pressure. And that is why it is uh, advisable to use this concept. I'm so sorry. So now you can see here it has started dissolving and I just went ahead. Now, this is continuous supply. This is what is CRCC doing in root canal. Constant flow with negative pressure. And you can see uh, this defies a concept of solution being not active beyond a point of cannula. But here you can see the tissue getting dissolved way ahead of from the cannula. So it's a fluidic movement. You are allowing solution to move in a closed tube where it will take care of the pulp tissue. And similarly, uh, when this CRCC was completely done up with, I did this uh, video to see whether this can completely take care of this pulp tissue replica from within the main body of the canal and also within the interconnection. And it took about eight to nine minutes for a CRCC to completely dissolve this pulp tissue replica. Now, why this is uh, advantageous? First is that you are using greater volume. There is no hand fatigue. It is automated. So it's an incentive to use greater volumes. 
it is constantly refreshed. So fresh hypochlorite is constantly flowing into the root canal system, which increases its ability to digest the pulp tissue. Then it is constantly evacuated. So there is nothing which is getting packed into the inaccessible areas. It is causing a sheer stress on the canal walls so that uh, the biofilms could be disrupted. And it's a matter of fact that it is safest because uh, the suction is inbuilt and you are pulling the irrigant to a pical one third and not pushing the irrigant. So this is this video is also there on the YouTube. Uh, you can watch this and see the difference how it creates a shear stress, it removes the pulp tissue. See, it is acting ahead of the tip. So all these years, we were thinking that the positive pressure or the negative pressure will not act beyond a point of cannula. And now here you can see it is clearing all the tissue from the interconnection, which is an inaccessible area for anybody. So that's how you uh, take an advantage of the fluid dynamics and have a better control over irrigation. And in seven to eight minutes, you will see that the entire tissue has been taken care of. So this is the concept. This is the concept of the CRCC, wherein uh, you have a dependable method and a paradigm shift in root canal irrigation. Now, why this is so effective? Uh, there could be questions that why this is so effective is because it creates a negative pressure in the root canal system. Now, what is why it is important? Because if you have the increased intracanal pressure, the penetration is uh, increased to a level of that it has been effective in 60 microns artificial lateral canals. The disadvantage of the ultrasonic could be that uh, it is inversely proportional uh, to the surface area of the file touching into the root canal wall and we are quite aware of it. The moment you touch the ultrasonic file to the canal wall, the cavitations are lost. And PUI could not remove the debris from multiplanar canals, but apical negative pressure rendered negative cultures. So in terms of debridement, in terms of efficacy, in terms of penetration, it is directly related to flow rate and apical pressure. So higher the intracanal pressure, better cleaning effect. And that is why CRCC has a flow rate of 5 ml per minute, which creates about minus 80 millimeters of mercury pressure in the root canal. Now, the traditional conventional endovac system had multiple lateral ports. But what we observed in this is when it is inserted into a confined canal, uh, the, since the canal is tapered and the cannula is parallel, few of the holes are in contact with the canal walls and the cannula used to get blocked very frequently. So what the engineers in COXO and what we did was, we did not opt for the side holes and we opt for apical open because you're not pushing the irrigant, you're pulling the irrigant. So a parallelly placed uh, negative pressure cannula closest to working length will allow uh, efficient removal of the irrigant, which is flowing in between the cannula and the root canal. So this is what the CRCC is all about. And coming finally to the case reports that uh, how this has been effective uh, in terms of treating the patients, you can see the internal anatomy here, interconnection. For me, this becomes an inaccessible area to any kind of instrumentation, a lateral canal here. But CRCC does a job in a wonderful way of uh, clearing this tissue in the inaccessible areas. You can see a lateral canal in this palatal. Whenever you see a notch or a periradicular lesion, expect more than one portal of exit 
and here it clears the tissue and allows my obturating material to go in. Uh, again, a periradicular lesion here, which indicates that there could be more than one portal. And here you can see the lateral canal and the lesion starts to heal. Uh, again, track the lesion and you will uh, reach that point. You can see an accentuated apical uh, radiolucency here, which is lateral to the mesial root canal system. And you can see an interconnection emerging from here and targeting to that lesion. So this is how. Now, no way I would have instrumented this. Come on. So negative pressure placed cannula into this, allowing the uh, pulp tissue uh, to be removed from this uh, long uh, lateral canal. And this will definitely allow uh, healing for that particular tooth. And a apical delta here, where you can see multiple portals. So these are uninstrumented parts of the root canal system which we have to treat chemically and having some mechanical effect on the chemicals which we use and uh, enhance them. So coming to conclusion and points to ponder is that no irrigant provides 100% elimination of bacteria and cleansing the root canal. Decreasing the concentration of hypochlorite reduces its toxicity that is good for patient but not good for us because the antibacterial effect will be reduced and the ability of the tissue dissolution will be reduced. So increasing the temperature of less concentrated solution helps in improving its effectiveness. That is what we have seen. Hypochlorite, when it is warmed, it dissolves organic tissues uh, in a better way. Effectiveness of hypochlorite solutions at low concentrations can be increased by using higher volume of sodium, uh, higher volume of solution and frequent exchanges. Why do I stress upon the refreshment is for the same reason. As refreshment is extremely critical when it comes to endodontic irrigation and disinfection. So in conclusion, negative pressure with continuous flow and increasing the temperature of hypochlorite satisfies all the important parameters of irrigation. So CRCC, allows you to use greater volume in uh, an automated way. It continuously refreshes the solution. It increases the temperature of the solution. It has an option of positive pressure and a negative pressure. So combining all important parameters of irrigation and a greatest advantage is you can use 1% hypochlorite where it will be less toxic to the patient and also we enhance and take the advantage of increasing its temperature and refreshing it time and again is what is all about my concept of continuous irrigation evacuation with negative pressure and warm sodium hypochlorite, which COXO has put into a reality. And I must thank them for making this a wonderful device as CRCC. And with this, uh, I conclude my presentation and I hope uh, everybody is very clear about the concept and you can reach out to me on following email ID or you can simply WhatsApp me. So with this, I uh, stop sharing and Carol, it's over to you. Hello, many thanks for Dr. Mandar excellent sharing of the CRCC machine. And I think a lot of dentists know the CRCC CC machine, how to use and why it's very important during you do the root canal preparation. Irrigation is very more important. Now we will pick up some question. Uh, we will pick up some question. Yes. I will ask my marketing colleague to help me to pick up the question. Mm. This one? Look, this one. I will ask him to pick up the question. Uh, first, I want to, mm, 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 sorry, I, I call him. He's not online now. I can I can see the questions here. Oh, you can see the question. Yes. Okay, I will. Okay, so okay you can see. Yes, let me just go through.
Okay. Uh, I today we get a lot of the question. Uh, okay, so let let me take this a uh, very important, uh, a very interesting question by Shimmer Shimmer Blue. The senior most surgeon in my practice says sodium hypochlorite is not the best irrigant and is against its use due to hypochlorite accidents. I disagree. What is your view about this? So, Shimmer, I am. I also disagree. And uh, if you can request your senior most colleague to try your hands on CRCC, and uh, you will prevent all hypochlorite accidents in your practice. So, apart from toxicity, hypochlorite really does not have any uh, disadvantages. So, because it has been tested for uh, 8% of the concentration. There was one question that uh, whether hypochlorite can be used at a concentration of 8%. Yes, if it is frequently refreshed, you can use it. That's the maximum. But hypochlorite uh, uh, warming beyond 60 degrees, the solution is unstable. So 50 degrees is the temperature with which it should be warm. Uh, another question is, if metal is long time touch with sodium hypochlorite, then it should be corrosive. So how to prevent it in continuous wave system because your instrument needle is made of metal. Of course, when it is made of metal, you can autoclave and when it is clogged, you have to change the tip. That's the simplest of the solution. There is this question, Dr. Sharad Chandra Tidke. Twin clean is also a type of continuous irrigation? No, it is continuous chelation. Then there is this question by Dr. Sunil Kamli. Which irrigation method you suggest, positive or negative? And which chelating agent, EDTA or etidronic acid, and why? Oh. This could be a presentation again for half an hour, but I will try and uh, concise this answer. Positive pressure irrigation is what we are doing till now. You can also create your own negative pressure, but you may not be able to create uh, the intracanal pressure. So in my opinion, safest and effective is uh, negative pressure irrigation. And chelating agent is always, uh, my preference would be etidronic acid because it is a mild chelating agent. It is uh, milder on dentine. It is not erosive to dentine. Whereas EDTA uh, in any of the form is slightly erosive and it is strong chelating agent. So that's, I hope Dr. Sunil, uh, that answers your question. Yes, Carol. Yes, so that is all questions. Yes, uh, Dr. Mandai. There, there are a couple of, but I can answer them later on. To that, I can send the messages to them. Okay, okay. You can leave the answer on the comment. So, who yes. is the best question during this uh, course? <laughs> that is difficult to choose. <laughs> Give me some time. Okay. Uh, if any dentist want to buy the CRCC machine, please connect with Sarah Mango. And here is the Sarah Mango connect information. And this is only available for Indian market. So if okay. any dentist want to get this machine, connect with our dealer directory as soon as possible. And also during this webinar, they have the special offer by Saramango. Please connect with Saramango, this phone number. Okay, so let me answer one question because uh, Dr. Rajesh Sutaria, no need for side vented needles if you use CRCC device. If you use CRCC device, there is no need of syringe 
and there is no need of needle. Carol, it is very difficult to choose one question. <laughs> okay, no problem. If you are difficult to choose at this moment, you can choose after this webinar and tell us, and we will tell them in uh, during our Facebook. Yes, that, that should be uh, okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Mandara. Thank you for your thank time you. and very, uh, very interesting lecture. Thank you and bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, next step, we will pick up the lucky person who have left the comment during this webinar and we will pick up the lucky person, get three pieces of console. SC Poento file. Okay, now start. Three, two, one, stop. The winner is Ceiling Fog. We will connect you. Congratulations, you can get the castle gift. Thanks, all the dentists. Thanks for your time and thanks for your attention. Please continue follow Coso uh, Coso Global Fee Corporate. You you are not only can get the knowledge, you can also win the Coso good Coso product. So this is very good uh, opportunity to know Coso product and also get the get the Coso gift. Don't forget our next time, unless we have the another webinar. Thanks for your continued follow our page. See you. Bye-bye.